Funding has been a major challenge for many international students out there and their dreams get shattered as a result. In today's video, I bring you information that might change your life and make your dreams come true. So I came across a company called uh, Passage. Passage is a company based in Toronto and its mission is to offer or provide life-changing opportunities and access to quality education as well as employment. So these opportunities are to be given only to serious and hardworking international students. What this company does is it gives loans to international students in and outside Canada to help them start and finish their studies. So the company covers your tuition fees and your living expenses. Just to make it clear for you who are watching, if you're in Canada, you have two choices. You can either get tuition fee and your living expenses or you can get one of the two. If you're outside Canada, uh, Passage will, will pay for your tuition fees, will pay for your living expenses, and they will give you the 20,600 uh, Canadian dollars that you need to present to immigration when you're applying for your visa. All right, so let's get down into some uh, details. So this company only fund courses that are aligned with uh, Canada labor uh, market demand, as well as immigration. For those of you who might not understand this, this simply means that this company only funds courses that um, Canada has a labor shortage for. The reason they do this is to uh, help you as an international students to be able to get jobs after you start, after you are done with your studies. And also have an easy way if you wish to get your permanent residence because of uh, these uh, because these courses are aligned with uh, are in um, aligned with immigration and Canada needs. So let's take for um, now. Let's let let me give you an example of some courses that are being sponsored by Passage. One of the courses that is uh, sponsored by Passage are math courses, science courses. Uh, uh, technological courses, engineering, AI courses, early childhood um, education courses. So if you have a passion of teaching, this might be your course. Hospitality courses, um, cybersecurity courses, cloud computing courses, dental dental courses. And in these in these fields, Canada needs about uh, 150,000 to 200 people in these fields. Okay, then uh, let's look at some of the trade courses that are being offered or sponsored by Passage. One of them is electrician, uh, welding, construction, air conditioner, uh, maintenance, plumbing, carpentry, uh, carpentry, automotive, mechanics, and ETC. Then um, let's go to health courses. Health courses. Um, uh, one of the courses that uh, this company is sponsoring is a personal support worker, which is one of the uh, one of the uh, common or famous uh, famous course in the Western world. However, this course uh, specifically does got some uh, some restrictions. So, this company is saying personal support worker uh, course can only be um, funded. To those students who are in Canada already with their stud permit. If you're outside Canada, they cannot uh, fund this uh, course. Again, if you're in uh, Canada, if you're outside Canada, they can't fund this course. If you're in Canada and you don't have a work uh, a stud permit, again, the company cannot fund this course. Maybe in the future they might consider to offer the funding to international students outside Canada as well. This company is working hand in hand with uh, George Brown College. George Brown College is a public uh, college. Actually, it's one of the best uh, colleges in Ontario. So they only fund courses within that school, which is aligned with the Canada economy and immigration. This company has secured $40 million to fund international students. So long as you meet the requirements, you will have a share of uh, this uh, $40 million. 
one would ask to say what if i'm a visitor uh, i'm a visitor and i'm, I'm a visitor in uh, canada would i still qualify to apply for this funding the answer is yes you can apply if you are in canada on a visitor's visa you can you can apply for this funding as long as you're not going for a personal support worker course the company is willingly to work with you there are two intakes september intake and may intake if you're coming from a country where uh, the visa application processing takes long i would advise you go for uh, the intakes in 2025 because we're just like two months away from uh, from september which is another intake and then one would ask what is a qualification what, what do you need for you to apply for this funding the only thing that they need from you is your high school transcript with good grades then they will ask you some questions and you'll be able to uh, they will be able to assess to assess if you if you do qualify for this funding so the two links i've put in the description block when you click on them what happens is that they will open um, they will open some questions make sure you fill up all the questions put a number that is put a number and email that is active and i would also suggest you put a number that is linked to your to your whatsapp so that it's very easy for them to get in touch with you okay then once you're done with the application you you might receive your letter of acceptance within a period of one week to three months depending with how many application that they've received at that particular time let me get into some details if you're coming from nigeria india or pakistan and you're you're you're, you're outside canada you will not be uh and you finish your school five years ago you won't be uh you won't be eligible to apply for this funding however if you're in canada and you come from these countries you be you will be eligible to apply for these uh, for these loans okay so details about uh, this funding if you are already in canada you will be you will be eligible to apply for the living the living cost as well as the uh, the tuition fee if you are outside canada you will be eligible to apply for the tuition fee the living expenses as well as the 20600 that uh, canada uh, that canada immigration asks for when applying for the visa let me give an example aquila is coming from uh, 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 zambia to study a uh, personal support worker course in canada for one year which cost uh, twenty thousand dollars okay so what that uh, what they will do is uh twenty thousand dollars is equal to like three three hundred fifty eight thousand three hundred somewhere there watch zambian kwacha i use kwacha since i'm from i'm from zambia okay the company will ask for 25 percent cash collateral of the twenty thousand which is around uh, five thousand dollars um canadian 25 percent of five thousand of uh, twenty thousand is uh five thousand okay if you convert that to uh Zambian kwacha it will be around 89425 so this means that you need to pay 5000 as a cash collateral to a passage to unlock the loan now let me explain what cash collateral is cash collateral is just basically just an amount an upfront payment amount uh, you pay to secure the loan you are simply putting that money down to get the loan and this upfront is used to pay off the loan to uh to explain more on this one if you're coming from outside immigration needs twenty thousand six hundred. okay so if your course is one year and it costs twenty thousand to be twenty thousand plus the twenty thousand six hundred which will be forty six thousand six hundred needed Fun, uh, the passage uh, company will fund you that 40,600 but you need to pay now 25% of that uh, 40,000 uh, 
600 as cash collateral. Then if you are in uh, Canada already, you don't need, you, you only need your tuition fee or your tuition fee and your living expenses. So it will be 20% of your total amount. Okay. So, um, if you come from, uh, if you come from outside, you'll be given seven years to pay the loan. And if you are inside Canada and you get the loan, you'll be given four years. Let's take, for instance, uh, Aquila comes and is supposed to pay back the $40,600 uh, Canadian. Okay. One year later, Aquila happens to have that money. He is allowed to pay back the loan, not waiting for the seven years to, to finish. That's when he has to pay the money. He can still pay that money even two days after. If he has the money, he can still pay. Okay. And then um, same applies to the ones that are in Canada. You can still pay the money so long as you have the, uh, you have the four years period to pay. But if you have the money within one year, you can still, you can still, you can still pay. Now, what happens is that when you start, when you start, when you come in and you start your school, the company will start paying you roughly like a 1,700 um, upkeep, which is which is to be used for your living expenses, right? After one month again, a passage company expects you to make a payment, and like an instrument payment. So the cash collateral that you put in, uh, that you put as your down, uh, as your down payment upfront, they will use that. That gives you access to have installments, uh, installments payment. Let me explain more about this. So when you pay the cash collateral, that cash collateral will give you access for you to be paying back the loan in in installments. Now. One will get scared to say, okay, I come in Canada one month later, I start, I start to pay back the loan. How do I do it? What if I'm not working? The answer is very simple. Passage will be giving you 1,000, roughly 1,700 or more, depending on the course that you'll be studying, for your upkeep. So if they determine to say your upkeep, uh, let's say your uh, installment payment is 400 or 600, right? And Aquila gets 1,700 every month from Passage. Passage, you deduct the 400 from the 1,700. Meaning Aquila at the end of the day, he will receive, he will receive um, 1,300 as the upkeep. Right. Then after one year, you have to continue now paying back the loan to Passage. In my own opinion, it's a fair deal. Okay. And if you come in, if you happen to, to be that lucky person coming in, coming in Canada through this funding, I would suggest you also get a part-time job. And each time you get your paycheck from your part-time job, just make sure you save the money or you pay towards your, your loan to reduce the amount as, as days goes by. Right. So, um... The courses that they offer, they offer uh, certificates, diploma, and uh, postgraduates. The good part about these loans is that uh, they also give you the proof of funds uh, documents. They will give you all the letter, all the letters, the paperwork that you need to support uh, your visa application when it comes to uh, financial, financial, financial support. Because this is one of uh, the major problem that many students do face when applying for visa. However, immigration is a bit tricky. You can have all the paperwork in order and at the end of the day, you still get a rejection. All right. And I'm sure you might have a question to say, what happens if um, I apply and I've put my cash collateral payment, then the visa is, get, is, is rejected. What you do in this case, you have to reach out to Passage and request for... Um, you request to defer to the next intake, and then you also request uh, for new paperwork in terms of uh, proof of funds so that you can apply for the visa for the second time. If you decide to withdraw your application from Passage or George Brown College, what you can simply do is you just tell them you're no longer interested, 
and you'd want to uh, put the application to an end. What passage will do? What passage will do is they will process your refund and give you your full payment that you made to them. Well, it's a fair deal because you're not making any loss. Now, there's nothing for free in this world. The money that you get, uh, passage is charging 11.95% interest. Okay. So the good part about this interest rate is that it's already calculated in your installment uh, payments. Therefore, um, if you'll be paying 400, that will be 400 until you finish paying your, your, your loan. But if you want to pay more than 400, you are still welcome to pay that, um, that, that amount. So, um, they, they, there is also an application fee, which is 110 Canadian dollars, which is around, uh, 1,400, uh, 1,400, 1,400, uh, Watcher. Okay. If you find this video interesting, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you have any question, leave your question in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to share in your WhatsApp groups, share on Facebook, share on Twitter, share on Instagram. Let's uh, on Instagram. Let's uh, share this information to as many people as uh, as we can, so that many of us can have this opportunity. Once again, my name is Jake. See you in my next video, Zambia Kuchalo.